uh, and now we have the lovely Dr. Charity Libanya with us. Uh, Dr. Charity is um, a, not only a community activist, she's also the founder of a charity that's based here in Toronto, Canada, Scarborough in, in particular. And she's one of the people that is going to be awarded in today's uh, ceremony. Dr. Charity, welcome to our Market TV. Thank you. Yeah. Please t tell me about the charity that you have founded and the work that you do. Okay, the name uh, is Heritage Skills Development Center. Uh, it's located in Scarborough. We build the capacity of new immigrants, also the youths, women, and children. We provide after school children uh, program for black uh, uh, African children so that they can do well in school. So, you know, especially new immigrants so that they can learn all the skills necessary so that they can integrate into the academics of uh, Canada. And for women, we provide a lot of training. We are the first in the GTA to start a fashion design a program you know focusing on immigrant women so that in that way they can learn the Canadian fashion style and standard mm -hmm. and we provide employment training too as well as small business for people who are already maybe business people in their countries of origin and coming here so in order to integrate into the Canadian business mm -hmm. and since the past seven years we now started um, uh, Afro Caribbean Festival, which is now the uh, fastest growing festival in the GTA. And the people through the festival, we promote small businesses, give opportunities for uh, small vendors, new and emerging artists. A lot of African artists that come to Canada to perform in Canada. So they needed exposure. They are talented, you know, from home. But then nobody giving them uh, exposure. So we give them exposure. So we give them a platform for people to be discovered by the media, by the community, by people. Mm -hmm. And we've been doing that for quite a lot. So these are just a few of what I do for a living. And at the same time, I use the small position I have to kind of talk to our people to fight for the rights mm -hmm. of our people towards integration, towards acceptance, towards, uh, you know, acceptance, you know, making us that uh, we are here to stay. This is our home mm -hmm. and we want to be respected and we want to be welcomed and to be part of the society. Absolutely. Thank you so much for touching on that because in particular, I want you to send a message to new immigrants in Canada. First of all, I feel like people when they come to Toronto, they're extremely privileged yes. because they see people that look like them. Yes. We're a multicultural community. That's true. That's true. But for somebody who's overwhelmed, who yes. was talented back home, yes. who was who's educated back home, yes. who does not have a Canadian experience in particular, yes. Yes. what kind of advice would you give them? So that is, uh, anyway, the system has unfortunately been set up like that. Mm -hmm. I also, even though I came close to 30 years ago, I also went through that. Mm -hmm. I came as a graduate and then the, the Canadian experience was, uh, you know. So what I say to people is find out different community agencies, mm -hmm. register, and then you go to do a little bit of volunteer. Believe me, those volunteerism kind of help you. Mm -hmm. You learn about the system faster than uh, the normal, uh, the, faster than you could do normally, mm -hmm. and then you learn, and then it's easy. If there's opportunity in those agencies, or even the, you could be exposed, yeah. and then you could learn, and then it's just a very uh, small price to pay. Yeah towards your capacity building and then integration into the society yeah. and into the community. And it's also easy to make friends. Yeah. We are coming from uh, far away, you know, from our home countries. Mm -hmm. And where we have the family system, we have our uncles, our brothers yeah. and sisters and aunties and cousins. And, cousins. Yeah. and unfortunately, we don't have that here. So by coming here through those uh, volunteers, you make friends. Just for instance, look at people now that are gathered here. Mm -hmm. And then so people you get to know, the person you meet today, you know, you can bond. And then that person can become your sister or your brother tomorrow. And then one of the key issues we go through here is isolation, mm -hmm. social isolation. And you can uh, bridge that yeah. gap. Absolutely. by mixing and mingling and volunteering you know yeah, exactly so get 
get in touch with the community centers, uh, be a little bit more active, get, put, put yourself out there, and in the process you will help yourself. Um, Dr. Charity, also I want you to touch on the importance of award ceremonies such as the Vigra Awards that do celebrate the unsung heroes as part of the community building and capacity building. Yeah. Um, I would say that uh, uh, this is uh, an excellent uh, idea uh, because there are so many, many people in the community that have gone even before me or, you know, that uh, have done quite a lot to be building community all over and all that, you know. So we have this by other communities. Mm -hmm. So it is very, very important establishing something that can recognize because actually if you do something, you volunteer in one way or the other, or you help community be in, towards community building. If you are recognized, mm -hmm. it gives you some strength. Absolutely. You understand? It gives you some strength that, oh, wow, somebody is recognizing. And you do more. And then those who are not doing, if they notice that A, B, C, we are recognized for what they have done, they will actually also get involved. And through this process, it's amazing. The amount of, you know, it's priceless. The kind of way we can all lift up one another and help, you know, because we're in this world all together, lift one another and begin to help. So, final in summary, I think uh, uh, I will say bravo to Queen and all the people who are involved in setting up the, this, uh, who came up with the idea. I say congratulations and bravo to them at the same time. It's an amazing idea and uh, maybe they do not know what they have set up. Maybe they do not know, but they can continue. It is tough at the initial time, it is very tough, but it is perseverance. Even taking heritage. Heritage, for instance, has won award from all levels of Canadian government. Mm -hmm. So many awards that we don't even have enough room. But initially, nobody took us serious. Mm -hmm. But then, when they now saw that uh, we actually are serious, and then we are determined, yeah. then everybody started to say, when they see what we are accomplishing, they are saying, wow. Yeah. And then there was now a second thought. So to go on with the award you know um, there is a room you know between for our people you know to recognize our people That's absolutely yes well, thank you thank you so much thank you and ladies and gentlemen that was a lovely talk to charity uh, who's also being awarded the vigor award ceremony uh, and uh, that was uh, part of uh, basically showcasing the importance and the impact of this kind of award ceremony that could do to people as far as encouraging them and telling them to push and persevere thank you so much and continue watching